Hey y'all, happy Friday. I'm in the doctor's office, as y'all can see. Waiting, waiting, and waiting. Oh, I just wanted to wish y'all a happy Friday. I hope everything's going well. It's Friday. Oh, make it fun, okay? It's Friday. I can have any man I want to, baby. That's actual and factual. Let me turn this thing down. I'm starting to be forgetting I'll be recording. Anyway, I left the doctor's office, right? And on the way home, I'm going to get me something to eat because it's 12 o'clock. I haven't eaten anything, so I'm going to stop by uh, Panda Express over here on, on the way back home. But, y'all, I stopped at the 5 and below. Somebody had put in the comments they had exactly one bag. So, I got it. I asked her if they had any more in the bag because I was going to go ahead and get some more. But they didn't. So I took this one bag and got my tail out of it. I'm grateful for the one bag. Maybe they'll get them back in stock. But they said it was only going to be a special edition. So that's that part. And that's that on that. But anyway, I'm going to whoop over here through the Panda Express and get me some teriyaki chicken. And uh, uh, I was talking to the doctor because I had gained three pounds. She was talking about menopause and premenopause and all of that jazz and said, of course, I get so tired of hearing that you got to go a year. I said, well, lady, it'll skip a month and it'll come right back. And it just came right back. So it, I'm, I don't know when it's going to let me go, but I'm ready. So we were talking about that. You know how I kind of had a even kill and I did tell her you know I've been eating some stuff on the cruise and things and more carbs than normal but I was getting myself back on track so I wasn't surprised you know and I don't know she said again it may be fluid or whatever so don't that ain't nothing to be worried about so uh, fortunately yeah I don't have time to be going back in the other direction but that's what it seemed to be I fluctuate between five pounds so I don't get concerned but I definitely don't want to go up more than that so I got to do do it do it do it do it and stick to it to it to it them pineapple goonies ain't helping are they I know that's what y'all say but that's a special occasion that's a special occasion I'm gonna put them up in my pantry and get me a handful here and there because that's the only bag they had anyway you know, I had to make up my mind. I, before I got in there, I said, well, if they got them, I'm going to give me about three bags. See, God watch out for children and fools because I was being foolish. Definitely being foolish. Anyway, how y'all Friday going? I hope it's going beautiful. I don't know what I Well, I know I want some teriyaki chicken, but maybe they got something new that I can try. I'm gonna get some super greens. I don't like that lo mein. I, much as I want some lo mein, I got that lo mein from uh, that lo mein from Amber says she want to go to Sam's Sunday, but I don't know. So I told my girlfriend we can go to church and maybe we can go out to lunch or something after service, but I don't know about going to Sam's on Sunday. I don't, Amber just don't get it. I don't like to really go to the store on Sundays. I will if I have to, but she don't get that Sundays is a madhouse. And then Emma don't like to get up early because I'm like, if we go to the early service, you know, we can go ahead right after service and go. And it still be crowded. Don't get me wrong. But you want to wait up until the late of the day to go. I don't uh -uh, know. It's not convenient for me. As a matter of fact, I know she worked, but I'm like, if you come out to my house one day, we can go on lunch break, on the lunch break during the week. I mean, she can work from home a couple of days a week just like me. Come on one of the days that I'm working from home. We can run up there on the lunch break and work, work for my house that day. But that's just too much like right. It's too much like right. It's kind of quiet over here at the Panda. Uh, uh, panda, Panda, Panda. At the Panda Express. I don't want that. I see they do have this apple pie roll up there on the thing. They, you know, they'll throw anything on egg roll wrapper. And yeah, that's a no. For me, I think I'm going to get a little rice today. I think I'm going to get a little rice today. Well, I'll get a little lay low, man. I'm going to go on and get a little bit. As soon as I figure out what I want. Hold on, y'all. 
I know that boy was sick of me. <laughs> child, I done went from, <clears throat> I went from, yeah, uh, let me get the child man half, child man half super green. Then I said, no, I'll change the child man to the fried rice. Then I then I said, no, no, I see you got the steam rice. I saw I got half steam rice and half super green. I know he said, lady, would you make up your mind? I done went from one extreme to the next, child. Oh, child. I got on my own nerves. But anyway, I ordered double chicken teriyaki, half, um, I got the bigger plate. Half, I ordered double chicken teriyaki, half, what I'm trying to say, half super greens and half steamed rice, and then I ordered the fried, you get three entrees with that, and I'm trying this firecracker shrimp they got. On the menu, on the menu. So yeah, I need to empty out my thing out of my car too. Take this change in my house, but I ain't gonna do it today. We're gonna go to another one of the murder mysteries thing tomorrow. It's kind of cold here today. You know how you don't realize you be hungry until you uh stop for a minute and you be like, I gotta eat something. And then I left my gift cards. I got gift cards to Panda Express, but I left them at home. And I saw that gift card wallet sitting there today too, and I said, I'm going to, um... Okay, thank you, baby. Yes, ma'am, and it's out of $20. $10.76. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a good day. You as well. Oh, she was quite pleasant. Quite pleasant. I don't think I got my order right. Hold on one second. Well, she didn't hear it. It is right. So I'm not going to even go back through. It must not have been meant for me to have. I thought that was rather cheap for a larger plate. Um, She didn't charge me for it. I got... Uh, yeah, she didn't charge me for the uh, terry, the hot firecracker shrimp. So that must be a key sign. I didn't need the darn firecracker shrimp. She only charged me for the double chicken terry. I cause she was talking so fast. I'm like, okay, but I thought 1056. Cause normally it's like right at twelve dollars when you get an extra entree. Cause that that uh, super plate, that bigger plate is like eleven dollars and something. So it'd be like right at thirteen dollars. I guess it didn't even done on me, but oh well. I didn't need it. I didn't need it because I was just trying. I always like to try whatever they have up there on the marquee. And like if you get just a regular plate, it's nine dollars and eighty cents. But even that don't went up because it didn't even used to be this much back in the day. It used to be less than ten dollars. But ten dollars for that meal is quite lovely. So I got the instead I got the double chicken chicken teriyaki, half steam rice, half super greens. Yeah, for my meal. So when I get home, I'm going to sit it on down, sit it on down and eat is what I'm going to do. And I ain't going to be busting y'all gums, busting my gums, running my mouth on the way home. Because y'all don't want to hear all this nonsense anyway. I'll get back with y'all a little bit later. I had to come back, y'all. They got traffic held up over here. Three ducks decided they want to take their little slow time and rush out of traffic crossing the street. And the people blowing their horns at the little ducks, the ducks like... And they ain't moving no faster. They just went on cross street at their little, own little slow pace. It just tickled me. I don't know. I guess they say y'all gonna either wait. And one, they standing on the side of the street. I don't know where they coming from over here at Riverdale and Winchester. And look like, they, I think it's some apartments close to over here. They way away from the apartments though. And girl, this one here getting ready to come back across this street. Get your tail out the street. Oh my goodness. You're lucky that you didn't get hit the first time going across in the beginning. And he over there trying to eat something out the street. Lord have mercy. And they started blowing at him. Y'all little two friends ain't tell you to do better. <laughs> okay, y'all. I made it home. I'm hungry, too. And I...
Gonna set my little happy self down somewhere and gonna get this party started. I'll start to get my computer out and go ahead and start working, but my head is hurting, I think, because I waited so long to eat. And uh, yeah, I said, I'm gonna eat in peace. Then I saw I got a delivery out there on the porch. I know it's from a TikTok shop because I done went down the rabbit hole and ordered a little dresser. It's paid less than 90, I mean, $60, $60 for them. And a little nightstand, I think the length of it, that's probably the dresser that's out there now. The little kind of the goals to put in a guest room for the TV until I can find something. But I figured that'll do for, suffice for now. But anyway, like I said, I got half steamed rice, half uh, super greens, and double chicken teriyaki. Let me say my grace, y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for my many blessings, dear God. I thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. And she said she had put me some teriyaki sauce down in here and some soy sauce, but I don't need no soy sauce. I'm going to put a little teriyaki sauce on my rice and my chicken. Just a little bit. No, you don't need a whole lot of that. Yeah. Anyway, what y'all having for lunch today? I was on TikTok. Well, I was on there last week. I just hadn't mentioned it, but I don't know if y'all remember the city councilman. He was very outspoken in uh, Michigan. Eric May. I know they're going to miss him because he was something else <laughs> on that council. But, hmm, our vegetables are good. He passed away. I think I think they said he was sixty something years old, and it made me think about you know you living your life. I don't know if y'all remember Shirley passed. You know it was one of my friends, people that's been around here a long time. Even when I was at the old place working, no, I used to talk to Shirley. Shirley just was a sweetheart, and Shirley would tell me. Donna, she didn't even need to work. Shirley wasn't hardly retired for but a few months. She lived her life, though, because she had just come back from a trip. Now, one thing Shirley did was travel to do, but it made me think about something. How people... I do save and do, but I also go and live, you know, because you can't take none of this money with you, and whoever you leave it to is going to do whatever they want to with it. They ain't going to be thinking about nothing you said to do. They ain't going to do what they want to do, and that's what you want to do anyway. You hope they make a smart decision, but Shirley was telling me how much money she had accumulated. And guess what? All that money Shirley had accumulated is left for someone else to use and enjoy. So, you have to be smart in life, but you only got this one life to live, and you should live it and enjoy it. Yes, we're supposed to put something up in the storehouse. But live also. I don't know. If it's because I waited to eat. Or what? I'm actually getting full fast. I don't feel the best today either. So. That part. My legs and stuff still bother me. And. I forgot to even grab crackers or anything going out the house. Well, for one thing, I was a little late to the doctor's office. That's number one. Let's just tell the truth about the whole thing. I'm trying to do too much before the doctor, trying to go to the bank. But then, Peter, I sent you about to be a FedEx today. Then I'm trying to go to FedEx and FedEx the box. Go to the bank all before I go to the doctor. So I got there. Right, I pulled up in the, let me just say this. I pulled up in the uh, parking lot on time. 
But it takes me forever to get out of the car, get up in the building, and all that. So I wasn't on time. Well, hey. So that was on me. Why am I getting full so fast? I'm eating this darn rice. I love rice. But y'all know that. But I get full on it fast when I eat it. I guess that's a good thing. The other day I was talking about coming home fixing breakfast for dinner. That I had some rice in there and I had that broccoli. And I told Amber, I said, it's one of the days where you know that thing. Girl dinner, girl dinner. Tell I got a moment but that broccoli and I ate that rice. That broccoli and rice was my dinner that night. I didn't cook nothing. Didn't have no more meat or protein or anything. And I was just thinking, the week I got back from the cruise, I had chicken that week. I ate a lot of chicken. Last week, this week rather, it's been beef. Well, you know, I did that uh, ground beef salad and then I made some sloppy joe meat too. Was well, It's still some of that in there. So I said next week, I saw ATL Key Real Realtor. He left. He was doing meal prep. Either it was on Instagram or TikTok. I can't remember which one I saw it on. And he had chicken, I think, green beans and rice. And I told him that was going to be my thing. But I think instead, I'm going to eat seafood next week. Salmon, fish, or something. Some type of fish and shrimp. Then I'm going to saute that over in the skillet and make some rice. And either green beans. I think I got a couple of packs of the green beans and squash mixture. I'm going to stir fry over in the skillet. I'm going to eat one more piece of the broccoli. Mmm. Mmm. And a piece of chicken. I don't think that's gonna be that for me. That I'll put this to the side just in case I need a little bit more. I'm gonna shut her on down, honey. Cause her sister is full. No crumbs left behind. Mmm. Go to the door and put this darn dress in here. Hmm. And get to work. I know I got some stuff to do by being the first man. I wish I was off the rest of the day. But I feel junky. But I need to get to work anyway. I'm going to get off here. I want you to know you loved. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. You know what? Before I get to work, are y'all saving? That's what I stopped at the bank for, to get my allowance and to get the money I'm going to put in my savings binder. So I'm going to put it in here. And someone told me on TikTok to go through and fold it halfway. It makes it less bulky. So that's what I did. I went in and... And, and folded it. I think I'm going to fill that bucket in today. $32. In one of the 40 something dollar buckets. But anyway. I hope you're saving and it's going pretty good. I'm going to get off here. I don't know if I told y'all already. But again I love you. God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all much. Bye for now. Bye.